What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with some brand new AEW action figure news for you guys. We got some brand new images and some stuff coming out that I am wanting to let you guys know about and let you get your thoughts and opinions on everything like that. Of course, tonight, guys, we also have some other AEW news. If CM Punk does, in fact, return, I will be doing a either reaction video or sort of like... I may film the show just to get my complete and natural reaction to the show as it happens live. We'll see about that. I probably will react to it anyways and do a video on that tonight, you know, just to, you know, gauge it and then show you guys and just see what kind of happens. You know, nothing may happen. I don't know what to really expect, but we won't know until tonight. So, you know, we'll just have to see about that and everything like that. But, but for today's AEW Action Figure News, man, we actually have a bunch of stuff. This actually comes to us from Prince Unmatched on Instagram. And we got some interesting stuff, man. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Starting out first, guys, look at this right here. We have an AEW Basic Ring or or it's a basic ring. It's an action ring. It's the similar to the WWE basic rings, but you guys will see here it is a AEW ring that we've seen in the past. But this one is it looks like it's going to come with a Hangman Page unrivaled collection figure and it looks to be the series 5 or it's very similar to the series 5 i don't know if it's the exact series 5 it may be a variant or something like that but it does definitely look just like it again it may be a repaint it may be the exact same figure but it has all its accessories right there interchangeable hands and stuff like that you guys remember the the ring from the uk that came with the cody very similar to that i know that we have seen this ring before but they did not include an adam hangman page so this one is going to come with an Adam Hangman page, which is very interesting. I think this would definitely help these rings move. I know that everybody that I see that goes to retail, they always say, well, my Walmart just has the ring and the toy belt. And I think that if every single one of those rings had this Adam Hangman page with it, I think they would have already moved them by now. And hopefully this was a way to re-release that Series 5 Adam Hangman page while giving him some tight joints or something like that. Because my, I don't know about you guys, but my Series 5 Hangman page... The legs were absolutely god-awful. So hopefully this will be an improved version of that. But that's very interesting. I don't I don't know what their thinking process was behind that or whatever. Maybe it was to improve the legs on that Series 5 Hangman. But we are getting a basic ring with an Adam Hangman page, which I thought was very interesting. So you guys can let me know down below what you think of that. Do you think that's a good release? How do you feel about it? Another repaint and stuff like that. But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Moving forward, guys, we also have a look at some more two-packs. Now, this first two-pack, I can't remember if I showed this off in a video or not. I may have, but I may not have. And this one right here is going to be a John Moxley and Kenny Omega 2-pack. Now, this is very interesting, again, because you guys know that we do have that weapons pack, the ringside exclusive weapons pack. Well, this one is a John Moxley with a Kenny Omega, and it looks like they have pretty much the exact same accessories as that that little weapons pack besides like the big thing in the background you guys will see you get the john moxley the kenny omega you get the barbed wire bat you get the chain you get the chair i don't know if it comes with the broom i don't know if i can see the broom or not however it does come with all the other things and also i'm noticing that the kenny omega comes with uh mike holding hands and his entrance hands i thought at first that was two shooter hands which would have been cool but it is not two shooter hands and you guys will also notice that it is the series one omega with the series four head sculpt and then it is the series 2 moxley with the series 5 head sculpt which is very interesting as well and it looks like that head sculpt got a repaint for the series 4 so we're getting a bunch of re-releases and stuff like that i just hope that these are new toolings like i hope that you know these figures since they're being re-released i hope that they're getting improved upon and they're not just the same exact figure you know maybe they're improving some of the joints maybe they're improving some of the plastic quality maybe they're improving things here and there so hopefully that will be the case with these kenny omegas john Mox you know all these different re-releases that we're getting and you guys already know that we have that four pack coming we also have that darby allen and john moxley two pack uh, just a ton and tons of John Moxley's and different figure sets that are coming out here. But I couldn't remember if we discussed this one, but I did want to talk about this one a little bit. What do you guys think about this one? It's kind of like an upgrade of the Series 1 Omega or the Series 2 John Moxley. So, I don't know. We'll just have to play that one by ear. But there is that two-pack. We also have a better look at the SCU two-pack. And this is better images here. And these look pretty daggum good, man. You get the AEW microphones, interchangeable hands. You get the AEW Tag Team Championships. You get Frankie Kazarian, SCU, Scorpio Sky there in their red gear. And the red gear looks really, really good. And remember, we, we thought it may have been an orange gear, but it is red. I know we, like, looked it up, made sure that they did wear some red gear, whatever the case was. But, you know, it's pretty much a re-release of the Series 5 Kazarian and Scorpio 
Studio Sky. I don't know if these guys will be improved in any way. Uh, the head sculpts do look the same. The tag titles look good. You know, the microphones and all the different stuff. But the colors look good. I like the red gear and everything. I don't know where they're going to be giving us these two packs. You know, there's a bunch of stuff going on right now with different packs and just it's so many different things. Like, I, I can't even... If I wrote down all the different stuff that we've seen from AEW, like as far as two packs and different things and sets that we're supposed to be getting, then uh, I don't know. There's a lot. There's definitely a lot coming. And you got... Uh, I don't know if these are going to be Amazon exclusive. I don't know if they're going to be available at retail. I don't know if they're going to just be ringside only. I don't know what the deal is. AEW shop exclusive I don't know we'll just have to wait on those things but it is cool to see these two packs like I love seeing the two packs and hopefully these do hit retail shelves and that'll be something that we can keep an eye on but not only do you have the John Moxley and the Kenny Omega two pack and the SEU two pack that we took a look at as well as that Adam Hangman page with the basic ring we also have a look at series 7 chase variant Nyla Rose now this one is uh, you guys will notice that she does have a black mark on her face apparently that is just like a sample mark that's not going to be there the you know that's not a permanent thing but this figure doesn't look half bad you know I, I, I don't know it's got some interesting molds going on hopefully the articulation and everything is good hopefully it'll be like Miro and it'll feel really good in the hand but you have the chase variant version and then you have the regular version and the chase variant version is actually going to be like a slightly like lighter red or like an orangish color and then the regular version is going to be a darker red with like some gold accents and stuff like that so I don't know the head sculpt looks like not Nyla Rose, I would say. I think this head sculpt does look like her. I think that the figure looks pretty solid. I mean, I'm kind of getting like Fiend Ultimate Edition vibes. Like, kind of looks a little bit stumpy. Hopefully, that will be the case when we get it in hand. It may just be the angle and everything. You know, we'll have to see what it looks like standing straight up. You can't really get a full scope of a figure until you see it in hand or feel it in hand and do all those things. But the Nyla, Nyla Rose figure is looking good. You also have a shot of the back of the packaging. And we already know the figures that we're getting in this set. So, you guys can see there you have FTR on the back. You have the Young Bucks. You have Nyla Rose. So I don't know. We don't have any other figures, I don't think, as far as images are concerned. But that's pretty interesting, man. That's pretty interesting stuff that we had going on today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think of all of this down in the comment section below. Again, the AEW action figure ring with the with the hangman figure is definitely a uh, I don't know. Like I, I appreciate again, if this is a re-release of the series five, and they're just looking to Fix the tooling, fix the le loose legs, and hopefully it'll be a better version of that figure. Then that's awesome. But as far as, like, just a simple re-release, I don't know. You know, it's just one of those things that I guess you just got to measure if you really want it, you want it, or whatever. But if you're a full mock collector and, you know, you're trying to be a completionist for this for this line and you got these two packs and these basic rings and these four packs and all these different things coming soon, definitely going to be a very difficult thing to keep up with. But hopefully it won't be too hard to manage and it will be something that the figures are a little bit harder to, or a little bit easier to come by. But then what's the what's the fun of collecting if it's all very easy to obtain, you know? So I don't, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of all of that down in the comment section below. But stay tuned for tonight, guys, because of CM Punk's apparent return, you know? I don't know. We'll just have to see about that. I don't know what that is, or I've never seen that. I'll probably make a reaction video just in case. Like, I, I, I'll probably do a video on whatever happens, happens, you know? I'm definitely intrigued. I, I don't know what the hell is going to take place, so we'll just have to see about that. But that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you thought of all of the news down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like CM Punk for walking away from the game for, for so many years. You crossed the line. I've been beaten, broken down